Here's a quick update on the bathroom. We have tile, which is so amazing. Um, this tile is from Home Depot and it was super cheap. It was 19 cents a tile. It's just a really tedious task. So the handyman, he's amazing. He grouted this and all that's left is to caulk it. I need to do some more paint touching up and then he's going to hang the mirrors. And we have new lights in here, which I'm so happy about. These are from Kitchler and they're beautiful. We also changed out the hardware in the bathroom. Look at this amazing opal butterfly. This is in the Paris gold and then we have satin brass cup holes so super happy and i did a lot of organizing in these drawers which i'm very satisfied with also yesterday some organizational tools came in so the first one is this over the cabinet rack where you can store your hot tools. It's amazing. It's a game changer. I'm gonna have it linked down below. It has saved me so much cabinet space. And then under this, we also have this uh, adjustable rack. It can expand out and it also expands depending on the pipe. So I had to bring it down one peg. Otherwise it could go all the way up here because the pipe was in the way. Got a new shower curtain. I went with a black waffle knit. I think it looks really nice. It looks like a hotel kind of thing, really sleek. And I love it with the gold and then my towel is hanging here because we're still waiting for the hardware to come in for the bathroom towel rack, but I'm really happy with the paint. Then we'll have mirrors up, hopefully this next week. I'm so excited. That's a really long update on this bathroom. I wanna show you real quick what my mom's bathroom looks like because hers is all done. Okay, so we're in my mom's bathroom right now, which is complete. The last thing to go up were these amazing lights. This is the three light vanity version of what I have, but you can get a better idea for what it looks like in here. I love this bronzy color. It's so pretty. We also have the same hardware in here just to keep it consistent. Beautiful hardware. I'm so excited about these. Oh my gosh. So these are actually, um, they have two holes required. However, you can totally use these on knobs without drilling in another hole. As you can see here, there's only one screw. It fits really tightly, so you would have no problem using these as knobs, even though they're a little bit more technically tended to be a pull because of these two screws, you don't need to do that. One quick change to the loft. <gasps> Look at this swan table. I need to adjust the glass a little bit, but this is from a vintage store on Instagram, and I actually purchased it several months ago. I shared it in a vlog and it's finally here in the space. This won't be its permanent home, but I just wanted to get it up out of the garage. We are going to be looking at paint samples today because I got in the paint samples a few days ago from Dunn Edwards, but I wanted to wait till my mom was here and when we have better daylight to pop them up on the walls. We have quartz so that we can do a few coats, put them in different places. And then we'll be able to start moving along with painting the remainder of the house, so like the hallway. The last update that I have would be that the handyman put in the chandeliers. These are from Hudson Valley Lighting, and they're beautiful. Um, I talked about them in a previous vlog, but both of them are up now, which I'm so stoked about. I think they're so gorgeous. We just need to paint this patchwork at the top here, and then the next thing to do would be to find curtains to put up here. I kind of want to do curtain rod pretty high up and then two panels that are pulled back. And Anthropology currently in this vlog is having a sale right now and they have these amazing big hand uh, curtain poles. What are they called? Tie backs that I want to get. Um, I think that would be really amazing. But I'm so happy with these chandeliers. They're so perfectly proportionate in the space and we have um another one from this line that's just a little bit larger well it's actually significantly larger for over the dining room table i'm still trying to decide what to do with the fireplace the handyman said that he can tile it i just don't know if we want to do like a white marble to kind of match the countertop so let me know what you think we should do down below it's not priority but it is something i'm just starting to think about um that's a little update on the house 
This is the main interior color that we will also be uh, changing out and we have samples for. As always, everything that I mentioned from the lights to clothes, anything, the hardware is all linked in the description box down below. Let's get into the vlog. Okay, so we're about to paint in here and this is the color Island View. We just did some shots on the Mark IV, pouring the paint, stirring it, just really pretty kind of slow-mo shots that Dunn Edwards can use. Here's the before of the room. First coat of paint is up and it's looking really pretty. I love this color with these high ceilings. This looks just so good. I don't know, it reminds me of like yogurt. We have this recycled cardboard that we are going to put our new paint samples for the main interior on. You'll be able to see the colors much better, but these are all in a velvet finish, Dunn Edwards Everest, like what we're using for the whole house, just slightly different. Hi, Bumblebee. Since Dunn Edwards sent these, because they're doing shipping now, this is how they stay secure, is with these little metal brackets that you pop off so that your paint doesn't explode in the mail. So we have the three colors. My mom is opening right now girly, which Ashley thinks is gonna be the best fit. Ashley's the color um, consultant for us at Dunn Edwards. They have color consultants in all of the stores too, which is really awesome. And they all have interior design degrees. Okay, that's really pretty. That's kind of what we were, what I was thinking strawberry blonde would look like on the walls. Mm, hello. The reason why we're doing cardboard is so that it's a big swatch. Putting it directly up on the wall might kind of throw us off because we're competing against that dark beige color or the strawberry blonde that's currently on the wall. So I think the best way for us to be able to get a feel for how these colors truly look in the space is by doing a swatch. So my mom just did a really thick coat and we're gonna let that dry. It's looking pretty good so far, and it's really hard with color. I feel like I'm having to tone myself down because what I love is so vibrant and saturated, but that doesn't translate well on the wall in a sense. Like, I feel like I, it, it doesn't translate when it's that big of a space, and this is the main interior color. So it's gonna be kind of interesting visualizing this and seeing it um, just because I don't know if that, any of that makes sense, but because it's such a big space, a big quantity, an already intense color, this the colors I'm liking are looking so intense on the wall. So this is soft orange blue, which everything's gonna look so different once we're out of the blue room because we're probably getting a lot of like the blue reflection. Ooh, I like this. I like that too. We just knocked out coat number two. That went pretty fast. Now we're doing the second coat of the samples. I'm excited to see these when they're out, out where the normal daylight is. Okay, so second coat is drying. My mom is making artichokes for dinner and I'm going to try to put together this. This is the same brand, I believe, as what's in the sink, below the sink. Maybe not. It is. It is? It just has wheels on it. So I like that it has four sections. Four is where we can put items that need to be washed individually. So hopefully this will be pretty simple. The other things that I got were super simple to put together. Okay, this is really hard to vlog. So instead we're gonna do a snapping transition. 
So three, two, one, done. That was pretty simple. Maybe took me 20 minutes or so. Um, I'll link this below as well as all of the organizational things and it has wheels with brakes on them. We're gonna eat and then I'll catch you when we're assembling the chandelier. Okay, so it's a few hours later and we are about to unload the chandelier. Okay. So all of these little boxes are the crystals and the chandeliers nestled in the center. All of the crystal flowers are up and now it's time to do the teardrops on the bottom of these. Chandelier is about done. We still need to put a couple crystals on this one, um, but it's looking so, so pretty. I love the two tiers. It looks so nice. Closing out Saturday's vlog. I'll see you in the morning, Sunday morning. Sunday morning and we have a big day ahead of us, but we're gonna start out with the sample paint for the main interior. Um, it's all dry. Here are the paint samples. Here's the paint. What we ended up doing was pinning up some kind of off-white, almost gray, just big paper from Office Depot that we have. We're putting the samples on it so that the main interior color, whether it's the original builder's paint that's beige or the strawberry blonde, won't dictate like the color much or like shift it. So we're gonna be able to bring this in a few different areas around the house and see which one we prefer. Okay, so the other thing to consider is the Fiery Flamingo and Charming Cherry. We also have Charming Cherry on the upstairs hallway. Um, and we really don't wanna switch these out because we're super happy with these colors. I think they're so pretty, they're so, they're so me. Um, and they look really good with strawberry blonde. They look beautiful, but strawberry blonde is just too cool toned for the space. That's why we're changing it out. Um, not because it looks bad with this. I think it looks amazing. So I really want to make sure that the color we choose can go with this. I'm still leaning towards the, the one on the far. Yeah, the one in the middle. Sorry. The one on the far right to me. It's too dark of a color. It's too... Mm. It's too intense, I feel like. I don't know how to describe it. It's Maybe it's too saturated. Like this is the equivalent of what we have. In a warmer but tone. But in a warmer tone. Yeah, so this as one's as like early the, and that's what Ashley was saying. As far be. as like the intensity of the color. So all three of them look good with Charming Cherry and Fiery Flamingo. So that's <laughs> challenging. <laughs> Dang, Ashley is too good at her job. Um, Ashley's the color advisor, but so maybe girly is the choice. Time to clean all of this up. Done. It's two weekends later and we decided on the pink color after having it up on the wall for two weeks. We landed on girly, which is the darker shade of all of the three options. It's the same intensity as what's currently on the walls, which is strawberry blonde, just warmer and we are really liking it. So all the paint arrived last night, which was perfect timing because it means that we can spend the whole weekend painting. The rest of the hardware also came in for the bathrooms and for the kitchen. So we're hoping to be able to pop those up on the wall. Top priority is painting the main interior of the house. First step is taping, so let's get started. So on this wall we have Soft Orange Blossom and then we have Girly, which is the darker color that we ended up going with. And you can kind of see 
here in the corner, this is Strawberry Blonde, which is um, a cooler tone, whereas Girly is warmer, but they're the same intensity, where a Soft Orange Blossom is really pretty, but it's lighter, so we wanted to go with something darker and warmer. Okay, and how pretty does the chandelier look in the daylight, too? I love it. Also amazing is that both colors, Soft Orange Blossom and Girly, worked great with this wall, which is Fiery Flamingo and Charming Cherry. We could have gone either way with the pink color, so we just wanted to do the darker color. And since we have so much light in the space and it's a larger space, the darker color won't look like it's, I don't know, too intense. I have these curtains that I brought over from my home office and I love this color. It's so beautiful. It's a gorgeous like jewel tone. It also matches my couch that I have perfectly and it's sold out on Ikea. All the other colors are available except for this one and so I was so bummed out. But then I was like, why don't I just search on eBay for the curtains and eBay had them. So uh, almost all of them are here and these are going to be going up all downstairs as well as the windows in the loft space to keep it consistent, which I'm really happy about. These curtains also go really well with either Soft Orange Blossom or Girly. So I'm really happy about how versatile these main interior wall colors are because you would think for pink and peach, it just wouldn't work with everything that we already have because you would think with the peach and pink colors that it would be hard to match with other tones and that's just not the case it all looks super good it's gonna be really pretty and monochromatic so i'm going to get to taping tape is all up okay so next up is finishing taping this hallway i taped it um several weeks ago and there's places it needs to be adjusted but i just cleared a ton of stuff out of here and it's time to sweep and then re-tape several hours later it's almost 8 p.m. and we were able to do two coats all along the walls except for the hallway where my mom was able to cut in and then tomorrow we're gonna do the hallway I also was able to do this wall but it needs another coat and then that little wall as well um, yeah we've been working on this since 1 o'clock and it's now 740 so the majority of the time is spent taping and cutting in. We are going to put up the curtains that came in the mail. What do you think, Bumblebee? Um, they do have these grommets that I don't like, so we have a, another pair of curtains that has these same grommets, so we will just sew this. The Bumblebee is snuggling up. <laughs> I have blackout curtains and it's on one rod back here and then you can see another rod connect. So I'll link this curtain rod down below because it was a good price. It's a nice gold. It's not too brassy. Uh, okay, cute. Thank you, mom. That looks really cute. I got these at Target. As I've gotten most of the curtains in the house except for the Ikea ones that I ordered on eBay. 